Using AI to recreate my most well-received artworks. This is gonna be crazy. I'm Jordan Needham, this is JHAM3D, and let's get humbled. All right, so the first one that we're gonna be recreating with Dolly, we are gonna be using Dolly. Um, perhaps we'll use Mid Journey in the future. So the first artwork that we're gonna be using is Aristocracy. This is an artwork that you can see on my screen right now. It's basically an eyeball as a planet in space. It's got like rings like Saturn. You can see it, you know, Earth is the pupil. So we're gonna try to see what Dolly comes up with. And I've seen some stupid results, so. <laughs> Uh, let's let's do this. I said freaky eyeball is a planet in space pupil is earth and a planet has rings around it like Saturn Dolly getting a little slow honestly Dolly, you know you, you, you talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? Really slow right now, man. All right um, Yeah, that's somewhere this is close the, I'd say this is the closest, but we still don't have that that earth thing to it like we don't have the earth pupil which i think it's going to be hard to get it to do because it's kind of hard to explain um and that's kind of where i think this all gets a little confusing is like you get really deep into trying to get dolly to understand what you're saying and you could spend hours literally like telling it hey no this is what i meant this is what i meant and it's like yeah, I got it. <laughs> it doesn't get it. <laughs> we'll go with this one. This one looks the best. So let's go variations. Yeah, it's just not, it's not coming along. Um, I think there's a way to say like, edit the detailed description. Let's post it again. Let's just see what happens if we do it again. Seriously, I, I know it will come up with something completely different. So let's just see. And then we'll move on to the next one. But so far, I'm a little disappointed with this. And I only got 50 tries, so. And I already used like 15. So make it count, Dolly. This is ridiculous. It's not really even getting close to where I want it to. Like, <laughs> there's this right here. There's even this. And you can see these sort of variations that I have of it. And it's still not there. I reckon if we added a little bit more details, we could get it, but. Uh, for now, we're going to move on. I think that was kind of a, that was a miss for Dolly. So I'm up by one point. Take that, fucker. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's keep this up. Second artwork that we're going to be doing is this one right here. It's called Sunshine and Roses. This one is like my only Instagram post that's ever done well, really. <laughs> um, so I'm going to describe this as... We'll keep the aerial view out. So it's just gonna be NASA astronaut laying in red roses. We'll see. Oh, let's do laying in a in a field of red roses. Okay, laying on his back. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna try, if this doesn't work, I'm gonna try adding 3D render to the description, but every time I've done that in the past, it really doesn't do anything. Okay. Maybe we should add the aerial view thing. Cause I've done this before and this is what it did. It was closer, also close. And this is probably the closest it got between these two. Now this was the funniest one. Like, I don't know. It, this is, it, Dolly, like, I don't know. It thought that this guy wanted to mate with the fucking roses or something. It got, it got oddly sexual here. I don't know why. And by the way, every time I ask it to do something with astronauts, this particular astronaut seems to reappear. Like this, um, this man of Asian descent, Asian astronaut. I don't know why. I don't know why, but like, that particular one whenever it shows a face it's like that guy for me at least i don't know why um i you know i think this is pretty close though i think this is getting there um maybe we'll go variations on this one i want more roses you know that's the only problem right now is there's not enough roses otherwise it looks kind of cool you better get this right quick because i don't want to be wasting all of my free trial but if we keep the series up, I will pay for the subscription and we will keep doing this. If this series does well, we will keep doing this, okay? 
I'll pay for the subscription, everything covered. This one's close, this one's close. I'd like to add more roses. How do you do that? Erase part of the image and then, oh, maybe, yeah, let's try this, let's try this. I'm gonna erase like all of this. Okay, can I like make this a bigger brush? No, this is kind of like using Photoshop. This is where I can kind of see the like human editing process coming in, you know? All right, let's, let's, let's just go with this. Aerial view of an astronaut laying in, laying in a field. That is not how you spell field. Of red roses. Um, let's do a ton of red roses. In a field of a ton of red roses. Let's go. Maybe I should have said 3D render. Damn it. Dude, you have to get so specific sometimes. Like as somebody that's a 3D artist with three years of experience doing that, and I also have experience in Photoshop and other programs, sometimes I would just like, I would prefer to just have it done right where I can just easily make the tweaks instead of getting Dolly to kind of understand what I'm saying. I guess that's close. I guess that's an improvement from this, but I wouldn't say so. I really like the dirt and stuff that it had in here. And we go to this, I think that's that's about as close as it ever came to this, was this image right here. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's a good, it's a good starting point. You know, I, I definitely do, when people talk about using this as a tool, um, it's a cool starting point to like use as some concept art. The concept art for your concept art kind of fucking sick all right uh let's do the last one it's our third and last one for today's video if you guys enjoy this video please let me know and we'll you know continue the series okay so the third project we're going to be recreating is this artwork called lifelines that i made it's like you know it's purple there's got this woman falling backwards kind of plunging to her death it's called lifelines so these cables are basically they were what were holding her up and they broke they snapped now she's gonna die and fall into whatever that is you know it's kind of abstract there's i don't even know how to explain that environment to be honest with you um and then getting the colors and everything is probably going to be kind of a challenge so let's let's see what we can do let's see what dolly can do let's see what you you talk the talk you you know you act like you're really up there with us artists. Okay, let's say woman who is falling to her death into a coffin full of lava because the cables holding her up broke. And then let's say purple and orange lighting. Let's see Dolly. Let's see, let's see what a little motherfucker called Dolly can come up with. Cause you know, oh, okay, okay. Okay, dude, okay. Now this isn't the same angle but this is this is like pretty cool uh color wise too i think it really nailed the color it's kind of hard to describe what was happening in this one you know in my original piece so i think as a first kind of try that's kind of cool so let's let's add something maybe falling to her back or falling to her death into a coffin full of lava with her back facing the ground. And I'd say, um, I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> I would say, like if I was talking to a human that understood Blender, I'd say the floor is made of like tons of geometry node instanced cubes or something like that. Many overlapping cubes, let's say that. Let's see how specific we can get on this one. Okay, there we go, it worked. Um, oh! I think, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that, it's not. These are cool. It almost got it in a way. I think if I kept describing it, I could get closer and closer. But then li there, therein lies the like debate over whether it's worth it for me to do that or not because I could just make it myself in a lot quicker fashion, a lot more fun, but also just, I'd have total control of the scene. I think these, you know, it's serving as good concept art for now, which is kind of cool. 
And yeah, I, I would even use this as some concept art for a different thing. But as far as getting really close or like close to what we what I, I made, I think this is as close as it got. Um, and I really don't think adding 3D render to it would would help too much. It never did for me. So um, we'll see. In the future, when I do this, when I do part two, I'm definitely gonna try adding 3D render to the mix and we'll be doing the same sort of thing, so. This is like, this is a very like, you know, this is like if, if, if I was thinking of that project, like this project, if I was thinking of it before it was a polished idea, before it had been finished and rendered, this is kind of what I envisioned in my head a little bit. I think that's, we'll give you, we'll give Dolly a half a point, okay? But as far as I'm concerned, humanity won this one we got you know basically three of them correct but i you know maybe in in dolly's fairness we didn't get super descriptive so yeah but you know keep it you know keep it up buddy you'll get there someday it's all about hard work motivation discipline jocko willing type of shit and uh you'll get there seriously dolly don't don't buy into the the art scam, the art school scams, don't buy into any of that. Just keep your head down, keep working, push through, and, and you'll get there. All right. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see part two, part three, part four. I'm Jordanita, this has been JHAM3D, and I will catch you next time.